Remember, if the wall site is on an incline, don't slope the blocks. Step them up so they remain consistently level. Each project is unique, so check your wall plan for details. With the anchor landmark system, every other step in wall elevation requires the use of the half-high unit. The half-high unit is the same height as the foundation block, however, it has a textured face. It also has a shear key locator on the bottom, which is used to mechanically lock it in place with the course below. Place the second course of blocks on the base course and push each block forward as far as possible to ensure the correct setback. Blocks should be set flush together at the face with no spaces between them. Backfill each course and compact. Hand-operated compaction equipment should be used within a thousand millimeters of the wall face. Check the blocks for a proper alignment before moving on to the next step. Reinforcement is a crucial element of building a stable, long-lasting retaining wall. Your wall construction plan will tell you which courses will need reinforcement materials and how much to use. Measure and cut the reinforcement material to the design length shown in the plans. Fold and stack the reinforcement and carry it to the wall for easy access. First, sweep out the locking channel and clean any debris off the top layer of blocks. Place the reinforcement on top of the block. Remember, the reinforcement material has a design strength direction that must be laid perpendicular to the wall. The reinforcement must extend to within 25 millimeters of the face of the units. Correct placement ensures that you maximize the connection strength and keep the wall batter consistent. Once the reinforcement has been laid out, install the locking bar. The landmark system utilizes the landmark locking bar to provide a positive mechanical connection of the reinforcement to the block. The anchor locking bar is made from an engineered polymer and is 1625 millimeters in length. Place the locking bar into the locking channel flat side up, angled side toward the back of the wall. Maintain reinforcement within 25 millimeters of the front of the block. The locking bar should be placed continuously, but only at reinforcement elevations. To keep the reinforcement from wrinkling, pull it taut and pin the back edge in place with stakes, staples or soil. Once your reinforcement is in place, don't drive over it without backfilling and compacting first. Now install the next course. The majority of this wall is built with the full unit, which is 380 millimeters high. Blocks should be set flush together with no spaces between them. Place each block on the course below, maintain running bond and push the unit forward as far as possible to engage the locating lip. This will create setback and additional overturning resistance. Once the course is installed, check for alignment. <laughs> 